Hey everyone, let's talk about fatty liver on ultrasound today. So this is a normal liver here, completely normal. You can see the, the blood vessels, you can make out the walls. It's a nice kind of dark appearance on ultrasound. And then here is a fatty liver. You can't see the vessels anymore. It's really bright, way brighter than the kidney. And I, you know, I see this maybe 50 times a day. 50% chance, 50% of people have a fatty liver. And it used to be just a disease of alcoholics. And now it, the sugar associated fatty liver is actually more common than alcoholic fatty liver. And this is bad for many, many, many reasons. I mean, it's all metabolic dysfunction. It's all related. This is, you're going to have fatty liver. You're going to have diabetes. You're going to have heart, heart disease. You're going to get strokes. It's all, and then this fatty liver eventually will go to cirrhosis. You know, here, this is not reversible. The, the liver is shrunken. It's destroyed. The cells are, are fibrotic. You can't reverse this. You got fluid around it, ascites. People need to get this fluid drained by sticking a needle in the abdomen and draining the fluid. Now, now you, you need a liver transplant at this point, um, or uh, or um, you know you just don't do well here. So you want to you want to reverse this fatty liver back to a normal liver. And and how do you do that? Well, you avoid alcohol and you avoid sugars, mainly fructose. You want to avoid you know drinking fruit juice, fr anything. Table sugar has fructose. Just um, the best thing to do is just cut out all sugar with a ketogenic diet. And the best ketogenic diet that's that's the most sustainable, the easiest to do is a carnivore diet. It's super simple. Just eat animal products. Red meat, ruminant animals. You can have eggs um, and other animal products. And that's it. No carbs. And you won't, ha you won't, you can reverse your fatty liver. Or, you, or the best thing to do is prevent yourself from getting it in the first place. You don't, you don't want to, here, here's a microscope of a fatty liver. You see all the, the white. All these white little things are fat cells that fill up the liver. Because fructose can only get processed by the liver, and it's processed the same way as alcohol. So you, you're not even getting the, the social benefits of alcohol, but you're still getting a fatty liver the same exact way. It's processed the same exact way as alcohol, and it's going to cause fatty liver just like alcohol. So avoid, avoid getting this by decreasing your sugar content. And if you want to go carnivore, it's... Truly the simplest way to live. You go to the grocery store, you go straight to the meat section, you come out and you're done. You avoid everything else in the store. That's all, that's, uh, and it's honestly, it, you, it can be cheaper than a regular diet. I used to eat $30, $40 a day in vegetables and salads. Now I eat $10 a day maximum. Chuck steak, ground beef, eggs, Ten, it's $300 a month and that's all, that's all I need. It's it's uh it's quite incredible. Now people try to scare you into saying, "Hey, you can't do carnivore. There's uh, a lot of issues." Well, that's that's just simply um, ignorance on their part. So they'll tell you. Um, They'll give you reasons like fiber deficiency, which is a ridiculous thing because fiber is not an essential nutrient at all. Studies that actually reduced fiber in people to zero saw the best outcomes in the patients in regards to constipation. Um, just and it's just it's ridiculous. The fiber is an irritant, goes to your colon, causes inflammation causes ulcerative colitis flares crohn's flares diverticulosis diverticulitis in actual studies fiber increases these risks but 
you know, the problem with, uh, with science and medicine, it's, you know, in, in medical school, they called it a, an art, not, not a science. Medicine's an art because there just, there just isn't perfect randomized control trials for everything you do. So it's really an art of medicine. The other thing, lack of essential vitamins and minerals is what they'll tell you, but meat has every single thing you need, every essential vitamin in the quantities you need it, and they're bioavailable, unlike all the things in vegetables that are are not bioavailable. For example, B12 doesn't exist in vegetables, so it's the optimal diet to get everything you need. People say vitamin C, well, there's vitamin C in meat, and there's just as much as you need. If you're not eating carbs, which compete for the absorption of vitamin C. And, you know, they talk about, about sailors and getting scurvy. And they were eating um, gruel and biscuits. Those were the ones getting getting um, scurvy, not the, not the people in charge eating the meat. And in the Napoleon Wars, they fed horse meat to the, the soldiers to treat and cure and prevent scurvy. So actually meat prevents scurvy. So it's... It's um, it's a dumb argument. And then people tell you increased high risk of heart disease due to high to saturated fat. But the American College of Cardiology in 2019 did a meta-analysis of all studies, randomized control trials, proving there's no association between saturated fat and heart disease. And actually found that sat saturated fat consumption, the more you consumed, the more protective it was against stroke. So obviously it's, you know, the the current people, current medicine, current people's understanding is 20, 30 years um, behind. You know, they say science advances one death at a time and people are stuck in the 70s and 80s with outdated, flawed science. And then they'll tell you that too much protein is bad for your kidneys. Well, that's just completely false because there's studies where increased protein intake actually is good for the kidneys. Um, and my dad, just in an example, my dad improved his kidney function going carnivore. So, um, that's that. Um, and then what do they say? Well, actually electrolytes, they'll say, you know, you don't get enough potassium, but red meat has more potassium than bananas, than avocados. Just, I don't know why they don't put this on the label. They tell you eat bananas and avocados and potatoes for potassium when red meat has more potassium than all those. And it's got every other nutrient and essential mineral that you need. There's plenty of uh, examples of people living off, civilizations living completely off of meat only. And that's, that's, that's all we need. We're carnivores. You don't see a lion eating plants to supplement his 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 meat diet, meat and fat diet. We are obligate carnivores, and that's the way we should be eating. And it will help you reverse this fatty liver if you have it, or prevent it. Because the best defense is a good offense. Prevent this in the first place. All right, carnivore athlete out.